Alright, well you saw the title, you know what this is about. So I know I'm pretty late to this whole thing and there's probably already a dozen other reaction videos to the solo leveling anime trailer that dropped a while ago, and I probably would have made something on it sooner, but I had other videos lined up in the meantime so I never really got the chance to, but you know what they say, better late than never. So right now, even though we don't have that much to go off of in regards to the solo leveling anime, we still have the teaser trailer and some other information about its release, so I just wanted to talk about it for a bit. And without any further ado, let's just get into it. By the way, if you aren't already familiar with solo leveling, I won't really be explaining much about it in this video, but I plan to make a separate video on the manhwa series in the future. So first off, what do we know? So this adaption is being done by A1 Pictures, a popular Japanese animation studio who's famous for their works like Kaguya-sama, Your Line April, and literally nothing else. Don't worry about those series, we don't talk about them. With music from famous Japanese composer Hiroyuki Sawano, who is famous for doing the soundtrack of literally everything you know and love. Attack on Titan, Kingdom, Gundam, even hacking One Piece now, like this guy is everywhere. We also know that this anime is coming out in the year 2023. And that's basically it. <laughs> So we don't know much, I mean we have a teaser trailer which I'll talk about in a second, but aside from that we don't have much information to go off of at all. So first off, let's talk about the animation studio, A1 Pictures. Well, I've seen some people talk about how they would love solo leveling to be adapted by a studio like MAPPA or Ufotable, which, you know what, it's kind of understandable considering their consistency in putting out really well animated and well produced adaptations, but I do still think that this is a win. Well, A1 Pictures has never been as celebrated of an anime studio as some others and is known more for their failures sometimes than its successes, I personally am a huge fan of some of their work. Seven Deadly Sins, for instance, while it had a massive fall off at one point, resulting in one of the funniest and most infamous anime stills of all time, the series at the end of season 1 and even through season 2 was still pretty damn good, and while it may not have had the most awe-inspiring and amazing story to ever grace the anime world, it proved that A1 Pictures could produce a visually breathtaking show in a style that hasn't really been seen before. And to add to that, the fight scenes for that show, while still retaining the same style I talked about earlier, still go really hard and are still some of my favorite action scenes in anime. Again, while they did drop that ball later on, this proves that they have the potential to capture the same art style that made the manhwa of solo leveling so breathtaking. The same way they captured the style of the Seven Deadly Sins manga in the adaptation. On top of that, A1 Pictures isn't just a one-trick pony, they are also able to create breathtaking spectacles of action on the regular in many different styles too. They are responsible for creating Sword Art Online Alicization, which was very very well done in the action department. And they are also the ones who made Fate Apocrypha, which is almost exclusively known for its unique fight scenes to the rest of the Fate series. And for other things. Both of these series show that A1 Pictures has the skills to do this adaptation properly, especially in the fight scenes department, which I honestly feel can be the thing that makes or breaks this show for most people. As a lot of you may know, one of the big reasons solo leveling is as beloved it as it is, is because of the art, and especially the art through many of the fight scenes in this manhwa. And that's why it's imperative for them to bring their A-game to this. <laughs> get it? A-game? Because A1 pictures? Alright, I'll stop. Also, side note, I don't know if any of you guys have actually seen the two shows that I just mentioned, but one of their special traits is the excess of cool lighting and particle effects in them that looks shockingly similar to some of the drawings in the panels of solo leveling itself, which just serves to give me more confidence that A1 pictures was a good choice to adapt this series. Next up is the only other piece of information we have aside from the teaser, which is the composer, Hiroyuki Sawano. And if you haven't heard of this man, how? He's literally in everything. He's probably one of the best composers in the anime world, and he's likely the first one you think of when you think of anime soundtracks. So essentially, I have no doubts that he won't be able to produce a banger OST for the series, because he has basically never dropped the ball in the past. Even for anime projects that are less than perfect in some aspects, like Bubble or Kaminari of the Iron Fortress, the soundtracks of them still stand out as an exceptional part of them. So finally, with all of that out of the way, let's get on to the trailer. So even in this 2 minutes 30 second trailer, we still don't get very much in terms of how this series will look. We start out looking at a nice shot of a dark city with a gate or a portal appearing in the center. After the opening, we go through a really well edited montage of a bunch of different panels from the manhwa, and then we see the announcement of the studio, the composer for the series, along with the director and head writer, and finally we end on the title card and poster for the anime, which looks pretty sweet to be fair. So it seems very intentional that we don't see much out of this in terms of animation, as we still have a long time to go till the official release of the anime, and it would only make people more worried if they rushed out some shots for the trailer and it ended up looking less than satisfactory in any way. Cause you have to understand, for such a big series of solo leveling, people are expecting the best in every regard, which is a lot of pressure for anyone who touches this project. So I will say, I think that this trailer was a pretty damn good decision. Again, while we don't see very many animated segments aside from a couple at the beginning, which to be fair look very good, I think that this is probably for the best. People know what to expect from solo leveling, they know it has to be visually breathtaking, which means that making a trailer that's super hype and bombastic and whatnot wouldn't really do much. 
but by editing it the way that it is and choosing to focus on the original manhwa rather than anything else, A1 Pictures and the people behind this are showing their respect for the source material and their dedication to it. People have a very bad history with manhwa adaptations. The big three manhwa or webtoons that were chosen to be adapted a while back of Tower of God, God of High School, and Noblesse seem to progressively get worse with each release. While Tower of God was acceptable and God of High School was at least aesthetically very pleasing, I've not heard very many good things about Noblesse. A lot of the issues with these shows comes down to their dedication or apparent deviation from the source material, which is a common issue for adaptations in general. But with solo leveling at least, my hopes are high. By spending the entirety of this trailer with the manhwa instead of focusing on anything else, it shows they know how important the series is to us, and it also shows how much they value the source material as well, which gives me high hopes regarding the ways the series is going to be adapted. Anyways, in summary, my expectations are high. I don't like that they are, as that often leads to disappointment, but I can't help but be excited for the series and everything that will come with it. This is not only a chance for an amazing manhwa to be adapted, it's also a chance to redeem the possibility of us getting more manhwa adaptations in the future. So let's hope for the best, but in the end, we can only speculate as to what the future will bring. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did like the part of this video where I talked about A1 Pictures, maybe consider checking out my old video on A1 Pictures that I made a few months ago. I would like to say that it holds up well, but uh, it's decent, it's not bad, but I don't necessarily like everything I said in the video or the way I said it, but still, I think it's one of my more unique videos to date. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!